Okay, I want to talk about a couple of shows that came out uh, while I'm driving around here. Oh, this is a great beard again. Uh, uh, talk about comic books that uh, have some shows that came out. The uh, first one was Invincible. I actually took some time this weekend and tried to figure out why I quit reading Invincible. I had a subscription. I got all the comics and uh, even got some comics for side comics to uh, just because I liked Invincible, and, and I, I struggled when the show came out to, to watch it, I thought, hey, I'm not going to watch the show, there must be a reason why I couldn't read this comic book, and so I read them all, uh, 174, 175, something like this, I don't know, um, comic books this weekend, and then I watched the show, and uh, the reason I quit watching it, they quit making it. <laughs> comic book series, um, and, it, and it has so many ups and downs, and this first uh, season uh, is like the first nine or ten comic books, maybe not even that many, and so they have a lot to uh, pull from, there's a lot more to go, uh, I really like, they did some changes, uh, and I know the changes were things I thought were bad. If you haven't had a chance to, to watch the, the, the show or you haven't read the comic books, definitely go and uh, stop here. Um, some spoilers ahead. Basically, the concept is uh, kind of like Superman. So, you know, uh, alien comes to uh, the United States, uh, didn't know he's an alien, and boom, uh, got superpowers and, and becomes a superhero. Uh, in, this, in this series, what happens is um, kind of like the boys, uh, a lot of the different characters are pick, pick and choose from Marvel or DC uh, comic heroes. Uh, there's a group of heroes that are like this world's um, you know, Justice League or, or Avengers. And, um, and so there's Omni-Man, and Omni-Man is like this world Superman. Unlike the comics, he has a son, um, and that son knows that he is an alien, uh, a Viltrumite. Uh, he's told his son that the Viltrumites are good guys, and that uh, they go through the world, help, or go through the universe, helping out worlds, and that he was on this world to, to help it out, and be the hero. And so the young man, uh, he's waiting to get his powers, and when he finally gets his powers, he goes out on his own to save the world as a superhero. He doesn't really tell his dad about it. His dad finds out, and he starts training him a little bit on how to use the powers and that kind of thing. I mean, there's, there's scenes in the comic book that they're throwing uh, baseball around the world and catching it, then throwing it again around the world and that kind of thing. Um, and it goes through Mount Everest, stuff like this. Um, so, you find out that they can they can fly uh, near the speed of light or at the speed of light. That they can they're super strong and resilient. Basically, they they can't be killed. Um, you find out that they don't have like the super vision or the super hearing like Superman, but but that they uh, they can fly. Uh, they can hold the breath for a very long time, and they're not in. Invincible, although that's his name. Instead, it's almost like they have a healing factor, almost like Wolverine or, or uh, I don't know, uh, Lobo. And you know what? It's a lot more like Lobo uh, from the DC comics. And uh, and that comes into play. As, and, and as they get a beating, as they get into stronger fights, they get stronger themselves. Also, as they age, they get stronger. Uh, they also, as they age, they slow down in their aging. So uh, his dad is hundreds of years old. Um, theoretically, uh, Mark, uh, the individual, will live to be also uh, maybe thousands of years old. Um, so I don't want to spoil the whole thing, but uh, as you go through the, the TV series, you think Omni-Man is a good guy. Um, well, he's a good guy from his standpoint. And this is where Marvel and DC 
differ. DC has, in my opinion, gods, you think of Superman, and who are trying to be humanized. So he's trying to find humanity. Um, Marvel has humans who are trying to be better, who are trying to become gods. So where, um, you know, you have Logan, for instance, Wolverine, who's a, 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 a good guy from a standpoint, but he's killed thousands, maybe millions of people because, you know, he's lived through, since the Civil War and has been a warrior that whole time. And, 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 and as a warrior, you look at it and go, from your point of view, are you a good guy or a bad guy? And that's a tough one to say once you get more, you know, you, you, you pull back a little bit. And, and that's what's happening here. Omni-Man is trying to control the universe on behalf of the Viltrumites. And in this case, he's sent to Earth to do that. But in doing that, he is subverting Earth. And, and so, and, and actually taking Earth and making it uh, in control of the Viltrumites, a part of the Viltrumite uh, uh, dynasty or, or whatever. So as we go forward a little bit, we discover that actually uh, he's not a good guy. And once Mark has powers, they don't explain it on the TV show, but in the comic book they explain that uh, the Viltrumites were having trouble reproducing. Uh, they'd gone through and killed most of the folks. Uh, and so, actually the planet is it has a ring around it, like Saturn, of dead Viltrumites, people who didn't quite work out. And there had been a, uh, a disease that went through them and killed most of them. So only the strong survived. They actually got in this huge battle between each other and, and just the battle royale. And so now, there's only a handful of them uh, left alive. Where there was uh, a whole planet of these folks, um, now there's only like, you know, let's say uh, less than 100. I, I think in the comic books it's less than, less than 20 or something like this. And so now they're trying to figure out how to, um, how to procreate. There's no more Viltrumites. How can we make more? And so part of Omni-Man's deal in coming to Earth was not only to bring Earth into the um, Viltrumite Empire, but also to reproduce, see if it's possible to reproduce with this alien race and make, because of the Viltrumite uh, DNA is so strong, it would, every person that they mate with would become nearly 100% Viltrumite. And so that's a deal. Uh, and, and, you know, they, he kind of had lost sight of that and, and had kind of given up on that portion of his mission because uh, Mark, most Viltrumites uh, show power very young, Mark did not. And so kind of thought that, hey, this kid's not going to have powers and whatever. Well, in the end, he does, he does show power. In the end, uh, that makes Omni-Man go, okay, well, I got to do the rest of my mission, which is set up Earth for Conquer. And that way we can bring in the rest of the Viltrumites and they can, um, you know, procreate. Uh, so, whatever. So he comes in and, and kills their, their version of the uh, Justice League or Avengers and kills them all. Uh, except for uh, the Eternal, who basically, yeah, he, he killed him, but he, he, you just kind of shove the pieces back together. The old boy comes back to life. And uh, it's not really explained yet in the in the TV show how that worked out, but yeah, that's how that works out in the comics. He he, he dies quite often and just comes back to life. So then, uh, so Omni Man's a bad guy. Uh, the only one that really knows about it is Cecil, and Cecil's tasked with with um, protecting the Earth. In the comics, he it's a slower burn. In in the uh, show, he just. Uh, rather quickly once uh, once uh, um, Omni-Man's wife discovers that Omni-Man kind of went, went rogue on her um, she brings this information out and Cecil had to attack Omni-Man um, 
I don't think Cecil wanted to. And, and of course, he pulled out all the possible things he could. Now, there's only certain ways to kill Viltramites uh, or even incapacitate them. Yeah, they can take a beating. So you can just beat them down until they give up. Uh, you can obviously, once you beat them down, you can cut off pieces of them. <laughs> um, and I think if you separated the pieces, those pieces wouldn't come back together. Um, but the other thing, uh, they they throw uh, some uh, Viltrumites into the into a star in the sun, and that kills them. Uh, they give them that uh, disease. Another thing is uh, the way they fly. Uh, they have very sensitive hearing. Uh, somehow, if you throw off that equilibrium, that that can kill, that can not kill them, but at least uh, incapacitate them. In the comics, uh, uh, Cecil has a uh, a communicator implanted into uh, um, Invincible's uh, um, uh, ear. And then puts a small device in there that, that causes him pain every time he, he kind of goes off reservation. And, and in, in the future, um, you know, uh, Invincible does go off reservation a couple of times. Uh, also, he has a brother in the future. There's all kinds of stuff. And actually, uh, the fact that uh, Omni-Man stopped beating Invincible is evidence of him um, breaking bad and breaking for earth so that would be something we talk, we see in the next season i think um the other one i would talk about is uh gosh what's the name of it? it's jupiter or something it, it's on netflix oh jupiter 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 <laughs> it's a it's a uh, a miller um graphic novel there's a lot of miller graphic novels that are just uh, just amazing and this is one of them Jupiter's legacy that's it um, and so the idea behind that one it, 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 both of these this uh, uh, invincible is on um, uh, Amazon Prime I really suggest going and watching that if you get a chance Jupiter's legacy it just came out on uh, Netflix another great great comic book uh, Mil Miller's written a lot of great uh, um, great graphic novels and this is one Basically, the, uh, this one is uh, uh, what if Superman got old, and uh, and so um, the 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 show is like the first I don't know, not even the first graphic novel, like the first thirty pages, and um, uh, it, it, you know the it's deviated a little bit, but uh, the basic premise is. Uh, again, Superman with the sun, kind of like uh, Invincible. Um, Superman with a brother as well, and and the the Justice League is this group of guys and, and young ladies who who are uh, superheroes. Um, and then it has some turns, and and in the graphic novel, those turns are important, where the people who are good aren't necessarily good. Uh, that people are bad aren't necessarily bad. It's just a point of view, and um, yeah, definitely the uncle. Uh, it, it, he his power is uh, telepathy, and uh, he's not a great guy. Um, the dad and the son, their power is very similar to Superman, and uh, the dad has a code. Uh, the code is don't kill people. The code is you know. Don't get involved with politics. Late, later, there's a prequel to this graphic novel uh, that explains why they don't get involved with uh, with politics. Basically, um, they had a disagreement with J. Edgar Hoover, and uh, you know that that ended up pretty pretty negative. Where um, J. Edgar Hoover had some uh, compromising photos of. Uh, of a couple of the superheroes and he kind of was blackmailing them then they ended up with pictures of Jag or Hoover that were compromising and they ended up blackmailing back and just this whole thing um, th this I think the show was pretty good I'm, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do a whole breakdown of the show but but definitely um, definitely something to watch something that I would suggest watching uh, both these are comic books that I would suggest reading 
they're they're great comics they they deal with uh in, any miller comic honestly deals with some interesting subject matter um and and is i don't think there's any bad miller uh comic books i have to think about that but i don't think there are so uh you know uh jupiter's legacy uh it, it is kind of a not a boring but a kind of a slow a slow series uh this first uh this first uh season uh, I have high hopes if it if it goes along with the um, graphic novel. I have high hopes that we're going to see some really good stuff in the future. Um, I see some blackmail stuff going on with this uh, with some of the things they did cloning and that kind of stuff that that didn't happen in the in the graphic novel. Um, it's just I, I would say if, if you have the chance, hop into them. Uh, I think those are the only two I want to talk about right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely, if you get a chance, uh, pop into, uh, Jupiter's, uh, um, Legacy, and, uh, if you get a chance, pop into Invincible. I like the fact that at every, every time he's about to say his name, they pop up with the uh, Invincible, uh, 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 logo. They don't, they don't really say his name. I like that Invincible himself gets beaten a lot, uh. They did d- deviate from the comics quite a bit in the series, uh, bringing in some of the characters early on that were cool later on in the, in the, in the uh, comic books. Um, and and Invincible just gets gets his backside handed to him a bunch on this. And it's very graphic, very, very good uh, depiction of the shows. So uh, give her a look. Uh, let me know in the comment section da- down below. Let me let me uh, know what you think about it. Uh, I'm looking forward to Loki. Uh, I think I'm going to do uh, some uh, guesses on what's going to happen with Loki. And uh, if you have any questions uh, down below, uh, comment there. Uh, thanks a lot, everybody.